Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're taking a look at the ChiviatRound.com website, where there's an exciting challenge walk of 52 miles to challenge yourself to do it within 24 hours. In this video, we're going to show you how you download the GPX route file from the Cheviot Round website onto a compatible Coros watch using the Coros app. I'm using an Android phone in this video. So on the Cheviot Round website, when you touch on the three black lines at the top of the screen, there's the options where you can submit your 24 hour completions and various bits of information about the route. But if we touch on the option, the round, we can then scroll down the page and we've got various options for the complete route, leg one, leg two, etc. So you pick the one that you want to do, or it might be multiple ones that you're going to download. So I'm going to look at the full one here, which is the one Cheviot Round Complete. And I'm looking for the option Download GPX File below. So where it says Download GPX File, I'm just going to touch on Download on my phone. This is an Android phone and it's telling me where it's going to save it on my phone. So I'm going to touch on the Download it tells me at the top that it's downloading and where it says open, if I touch on open, I then get the option of which apps I want to open it with. I can see Coros listed at the top. That's the last app I've used from my downloads. Sometimes depending on your phone's operating system, you might have to go to your downloads and then you get the option where you'll see the GPX file and you touch on the three black dots to the right of the file and you select the option share and then instead of open with, and then when you select share, you should have the option of the Coros app. This is assuming you're using a Coros watch and you've got the Coros app on your phone. So I'm just going to say just once here. And then what will happen is the Coros app will open with this route, which I can see. It's got the distance and elevation graph at the bottom. I'm going to touch on save route. I then get the option to change the name. So where it's got a name here. I can use the little back arrow and I could just call it Cheviot Route Complete. I normally find on the Coros watch when you load a route for navigation, there's not a massive choice on how long the route name can be. So often I will abbreviate route names down. So I may just put this one as a shorter route name. I think it's a good example. Cheviot Round. And then I'm going to put, because it's nearly 52 mile, 52 M at the end. That's just my personal choice to how I want to name it. And then I touch on save and then that will save the route to the Coros app. I'm using a Coros Apex 2 Pro watch. At the bottom it's got sync with your watch. I've got my watch on with me now paired with the app. So if I touch on sync with watch that will sync that route across to my Coros Apex 2 Pro watch. So we'll just let that sync across and this video we hope has been helpful to you with regards to transferring the route from the Cheviot Round website to a compatible Coros watch. For loads more tips and advice and GPS products, you can visit the www.gpstraining.co.uk website. We hope you enjoy this challenge walk and thanks for watching the video.